Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be that forever promised Q&A video that I've been talking about for months. Um, basically, the, the questions kind of slowly trickled in, and so I never got, you know, 20 questions at once. It was like every time I said, please submit your questions for a Q&A, I got one or two questions. So here I am now with enough questions to um, answer and fill out an entire video. So um, I don't necessarily have the exact questions that people ask. I tried to remember some of them off the top of my head, and I don't remember who asked them. Um, if you had to choose one makeup brand for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Um, and I could only use that one brand. Uh, I might go with Makeup Forever because I feel like they have a lot of really great professional options with a lot of things. I know it's pricey, but if not, I might use a uh, Mac or... And if I had to choose one drugstore brand, which one would I choose? Probably L'Oreal. Um, I think Milani is also really good for different products. Um, if my makeup collection was stolen or lost in a fire, what would I repurchase first? Um, I would definitely go out and purchase foundation and a brow pencil of some sort because I just feel like I don't look done up. I don't look polished or whatever without my face on and... Um, I probably repurchased a chapstick, which hopefully wasn't lost in the fire, but my lips, like, I use a chapstick multiple times a day, if not an EOS lip balm, so definitely a regular old chapstick or EOS lip balm, and then, um, foundation, I would probably repurchase, um, you know, lately I've been into a lot of, like, mixing and matching, like, foundation combos, so I literally, this morning, I squirted three different foundations, onto my hand and put those on my face. So if you were like, what kind of foundation are you wearing right now? I'd be like, YSL Touche Eclat, uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, and um, what was the other one? Estee Lauder Double Wear. Because the Estee Lauder Double Wear is like the right shade for me. My Makeup Forever Matte Velvet is a little bit too dark, but I like the finish. But then I'm like, the YSL Touche Eclat gives me that like radiant glow, but it's a little too dark. So the Estee Lauder Double Wear like lightens it up. Yeah, I use three colors, so I can't tell you which one I'd choose, but I'd go for foundation, brows, and um, lips, probably. And then, I know most women would say mascara. That's great, but I really would like a bronzer, and here's why. The bronzer I could use as like a transition color in my eye. Um, I could put foundation all over the eyelid and then put the bronzer or contour color in the crease of my eye. And I could also use that matte bronzer in my brows. So that would be, okay, if I could have four products. We could do foundation, uh, lip product of some sort, probably like a mauve color, similar to what I have on now. Um, and then I would have like a contour brow shade and mascara. That would be what I'd pick up. Um, what are the best cheap products, inexpensive products, that I am surprised or like I would recommend to anybody? Um, number one that comes to my mind is the e.l.f. Lip, lip Exfoliator. That thing is amazing. It's a lipstick tube with like brown sugar and like these little scrubbers in it. And you rub it on your lips when you have dead skin and it just like feels so good. It's like, oh, finally, like your lips are relieved. Um, I really like the e.l.f. Makeup Removing Wipes too. And they have moisturizing wipes, which are great for people like me with dry skin. Um, cheap products. Chapstick. Can't go wrong. Love it. Already talked about it a million times on my channel. Um, NYX has some really good um, lip glosses that I really like for like five bucks. I just recently got some on buy one, get one half off. And so they were like two for $7.50. I'm like, yeah. So I bought eight. Sorry. Um, I really like those. Whatever. Um, some really good uh, eyeshadows from Milani, the Bella Eyes line. They're really good. And um, I've heard a lot of good things about, like, the NYC Sunny Bronzer. I haven't tried it. Um, but, yeah, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Lumi Primer and the L'Oreal um, Lumi Foundation are all some of my favorites from the drugstore, too. And Milani Baked Blushes. Okay. Um, how do I work from home? How did I find a job to work from home, and how do I like it? So when I first got my job, the um, the manager that I have is that I had at that time is gone. But the agreement kind of was, let's get you trained, let's see what happens, and then maybe someday you can work from home a couple days a week uh, once you know everything or you know you're more comfortable working independently. So right when I hit that point, they actually did construction in our office, so I like was forced to work from home full time. So I didn't go in for like four months and. Then they built, they were like done with construction and I was able to go back. 
and then that manager left and then somebody else left and then so now I have it worked out where I work from home three days and I work from the office two days that may change we're kind of in transition with new people but so the question is how did I find a job that let me work from home I knew there was a chance when I got the job but that's not why I took it but I couldn't go back to working full-time in an office like honestly the next job that I get after this I mean I'm only 28 there's a good chance I'll get another job after this um, sometime in my career and I don't know they'd have to offer me a lot of money to commute five days a week because it is like oh it's hard it adds like two hours to my day because I have to like get ready in the morning and then drive in and drive home you know that's two hours easily and so now I get ready throughout the day like I'll usually do my makeup on my lunch and record it like that's silly but it's true and then um, I can edit it in the evenings and get it posted for the next day I mean I post a video every single day so working at the office I definitely would not be able to keep that up um, what does my boyfriend do? He is a computer programmer. Um, and what was my favorite video to shoot? Um, I think that my my boyfriend does my makeup tag with like my all time favorite video, and um, the most fun to watch back. I've watched it back myself like ten times because it's like really funny. Um, I really like watching that one. Um, I really like the um, ones where I got my new camera. Um, basically right after Christmas and you can see like instantly like the videos were like and then all of a sudden you're like and there's her eye like it was like really clear autofocus zoom my lighting was better everything looked better and I, I got an editing software at the same time and so you can see like suddenly I have transitions and music and speeding up in certain parts and cuts and things like that and then you know text on the screen and fading out and you know, a little like this video at the end and um, those video, what do you call them, bloopers at the end. Like, I was like really impressed with myself that I figured out how to use the editing software. So, um, and also like the colors are so vibrant in that video and you can really see my application. Those ones I like to watch because I feel like proud of them. Uh, my first videos are the ones that make me cringe, like the ones I put up last April, May, June. Like I still had braces, my lighting was awful, my camera, I was using my laptop camera, which is not like an iPad or iPhone or I, you know, Mac or anything. It's a Lenovo, like it's not even good. Um, and I had just like my ceiling fan light. And a lamp. I had a lamp sitting on my desk. That was my lighting. Um, and if it wasn't bright outside, like if it wasn't daytime, like my videos were crap. So now I have, you know, two umbrella lamps, this stand behind me, a real uh, Canon, uh, you know, recorder, video recorder, and real editing software. Um, what kind of camera do I have? I have the Canon, I don't even know. I'll try to list it below. I've been asked that before and I, I can't remember. What tripod do I have? I'll try to link that below. And um, other people wanted to know if I'm going to do a giveaway again soon. I do plan on that. Um, I'm nearing 400 subscribers right now, and I think when I get to 500, I'll do another giveaway. And I do have products. Had a couple of questions for that, though. If you guys wanted to get more giveaways, I have a few ideas. Um, for one thing, I have some products that I simply swatched on my hand or something for a video and then I never end up using them because for some reason I, I have that color like 15 times in my collection or um, I just didn't end up using it. And so I'm wondering if you guys would care if something like that was in a giveaway. I prefer to do all brand new products, but I already have some stuff lying around like that I'm not using. Like I have an entire cab uh, basket here full of products that I'm not using. These are just like things that are laying around. So if I could, you know, give these to somebody who, you know, they've been used once. I tried to sell them, but I only sold a few things. So anyway, if you guys don't care, I could always, you know, put alcohol on it, sanitize it or something. But then I could do more giveaways. And the only thing that would cost me is the shipping. Now, I like to do better giveaways because, you know, with more expensive items and like more desired sought after items too, but I wouldn't be able to do those every month or, you know, every two months even. It would probably be something I'd space out. And last time I did three prizes, three winners. Would you guys care if I just did one? Do you like the idea of doing three prizes? Do you like the idea of doing hodgepodge? Would you like it if I separated them into, like, um, you know, this is the prize for somebody with light skin. This is the prize for people who, you know, like, because I have different products, like face products that are kind of specific to your foundation shade. Now, not necessarily specific, but it might be called light. 
And then I don't want somebody to win it who's like a medium tan and feel like, well, this is crap. I don't want this. So uh, I could do different like varieties. I could do separate them into different things. Um, I also have a ton of samples. I wouldn't sell them to you, but I would give them away in a giveaway as part of a package. So if you guys don't care, I could totally do that too. Um, and that would mean I'd be able to do more giveaways more often and stuff like that. So um, my question to you guys is what do you want to see? What do, what do you like? What do you not like? What do you want to see from my channel in the future? Um, and other people ask, what do I see my channel becoming or what do I want it to become? Um, I would love to be able to do YouTube full time. I just don't think it's um, realistic right now. Um, I'm paying my master's degree off, so that's going to be 10 years. <sighs> 10 years <laughs> of paying that off. So, um, yeah, my bills have like they're like one and a half times the amount of money I need right now to pay my bills as opposed to what I needed six months ago when I just finished my graduate degree. So I'm not making one and a half times the salary. I'm just having less to spend. So February, I'm on a no buy. Uh, I did a lot of shopping in January, which you might have noticed. December and January because I had Christmas and my birthday and gift cards. And I splurged during the VIB sale in November. So February, I was like, okay, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. But what kind of products that are already in my collection do you want to see looks with? What, um, you know, reviews do you want to see? What of my collection that you guys have seen on my channel that you're like, she never uses that. I wish she'd use that because I have that palette. Um, I've gotten some requests for like the chocolate bar palette. I didn't buy the semi-sweet one because it had such mixed reviews from the Too Faced palette. But let me know what you guys want to see. I'm really curious. And if you have any more questions for the next Q&A or if I forgot to answer one of yours, I'm sorry. I just kind of scroll back through my old notifications and I tried to catch as many as I could. But since I asked, if you have any questions for the next Q&A, please submit it. I asked it at the end of every video. I'd have to open up every video and look for the comments on every single video to find them. So I think I found most of them. Sorry if I forgot any. If I did, just leave them below and I will try to reply. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe. And like I said, let me know what you want to see. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.